So now let's look at how we might find the equation of a tangent if we're given an external point. What I mean by that, let's consider this function here, this y equals x cubed. Um, we want to find where the tangents, notice, notice that it's plural here, that tangents to this equation from this external point negative 2, 0. Now, the point negative 2, 0 is probably about here somewhere, all right? And what it's really asking for us is if we draw any linear line that we want, we can draw linear lines everywhere, right around here, which linear lines will actually form a tangent to this function? Now, the obvious one that we can probably see is we can probably draw a linear line here somewhere, and that linear line will form a tangent to the function there. But often with these functions is there's more than one. So you can see that there's one just in here. But there's actually another one with this function, and I actually know where it is. It's the one that runs just along here. At this point here, that'll actually have a tangent to the line at this point just in here. But let's think about this algebraically. How might we actually find this, well, these two equations for these lines here that I've just drawn in, just using our algebraic understanding of things? So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by describing any linear line that we can draw from this point, all of them, literally all of them. And we're going to do that using our gradient point form. So that's, that's a formula that we learned previously where it was uh, y equals the f dash or the gradient at the point of a is going to be multiplied by x minus my a point and then added on with my b point just in here. We're going to use this here to be able to describe any line that we can draw at this point. Keep in mind this point of B is also the f of A, so you might actually see this written as, and I might put it here now, you might also see this formula written as the f of A, what the y equals, when my input of A is in here. So we can already refer this as A and the f of A as a coordinate just in here. So now, what to do from here? Well, what I'm actually gonna just state here is if y is equal to x cubed, what I'm going to say is if y is equal to, it's x cubed, but I'm going to call it the f of x to get it into this format. What I need to know is the f of a. So the f of a is going to be substituting a into this, so it'll be a cubed. What I also need though is I need to find the derivative. I need to find the slope of this. So I need to find the f dash of x, or the derivative of the original function. And the derivative is going to be 3x squared. And from here, I can find what the derivative is going to be at this point. So it's going to be the f dash of a is going to be substituting uh, a into this, so it will be 3a squared. So I can now really describe all these uh, linear lines that I can draw here in terms of a. So I can rewrite this to say that the equations of the tangent at negative 2, 0 is y is equal to the f dash of a, which is going to be 3a squared multiplied by x minus a, and then add the f of a, and the f of a is a cubed. So from here I can expand this out, so y will equal uh, 3a squared x uh, minus 3a cubed plus an a cubed, which if I simplify that, y will equal, uh, it's just those two, so 3a squared x uh, minus 2a cubed. So what we've described here is the linear lines for any tangent along this function. What I need to find though is which one of those lines passes through the point negative 2, 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to substitute negative 2, 0 into this function here. So when I do that, I know that my y is going to be 0 when my x is negative 2. So this will be 3a squared times negative 2 uh, take 2a cubed. Now, looking at this, I can expand it out. So this will be negative 6a squared um, 
take 2a cubed is equal to 0. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to move it to the other side to make it easier to work with. So this will be 2a cubed plus 6a squared equals 0. And you can see here that it's got a common factor of 2a squared. So if I remove 2a squared out of it, this will leave me with a and this will leave me with 3 is equal to 0. So now what I've got is null factor law. I can say that my a has to equal either 0 or negative 3 for this to be true. So let's just stop for a second. Where are we up to? Well, we found an equation that represented the linear tangent for anywhere along this function. And what we've just found by substituting this point into it is the two values of a which will allow this tangent to pass through this point. So what I now need to do is to describe the equations of this graph is to substitute my values of a back into this function here. So we know that when my a is equal to zero that the equation of the tangent is going to be zero into this uh, which will be 0 and 0, so it will be y equals 0. Which, if you think about back up to our original graph of this, we could have probably predicted it because it was the x-axis. But we can also find out when my a is equal to negative 3, which is the one that you can see just drawn in here. So the equation of the tangent is, substituting negative 3 into this, will be negative 3 squared, which is 9, times 3 is 27. So y equals 27x. And then uh, negative 3 into this will be negative 27 times negative 2 is positive 54. So plus 54 here at the end. So to summarise, there's a lot here. There is a lot. The very first thing that we sort of started by doing was going, can we find an equation that will represent all the linear uh, equations for the tangents for my function. That's what the first step really was about finding. Once we've got that, we substitute in the point, the external point that we're looking for, this equation to go through, which is what we did here. And we found the value of a that worked for that. Once you've got that value of a, you then need to describe the two or however many linear functions there are, linear equations there are, that are tangents to it. And you do that by substituting the value of a back into this little function just here.